one of the largest white oaks in eastern North America, Quercus macrocarpa, the bur oak. It's found very commonly in the northeastern United States and in the Midwest. In fact, it's a very common species on prairies in the prairie states. Quercus macrocarpa, or bur oak, is one of our white oaks, meaning that if you look at, at the lobes very carefully, you'll notice no bristle tips. The white oaks in general are much longer lived. They'll go to about 400 years old, and bur oak is no exception. Bur oak also has a very large acorn. The acorn, as all white oaks do, only take one growing season to mature, but it's a very large acorn, and that's what macrocarpa means, macro large carpa fruit. The tree has a very thick bark. In fact, if you look at the branches, you'll see that the branches tend to be very corky, and it's that corky bark that provides some fire resistance in the prairie states to the tree. When it's in the open, it's a very low branch, almost mushroom-shaped crown. And then when it's in the forest, it has a beautiful, long, clear, straight bowl. The wood is quite valuable. As a white oak, it's used for any uses that white oaks are used for, flooring, for furniture, and also for wine and whiskey barrels. It has a very distinctive bark, as all trees do. In the case of bur oak, the ridges are quite thick, they're dark, they're not very interlacing, but there's a subtle interlacing of the ridges, and the furrows are relatively deep. You can put your hand into the furrows of an older tree. It's a magnificent tree, an excellent tree for a park. It's very slow growing, not the ideal tree. If you're looking for instant shade, it's one of the trees that you plant for the next generation for shade, not necessarily for immediate shade. Baroque, one of the larger white oaks in eastern North America.